add or subtract rational expressions with like or same denominators, we keep the denominator the same and add or subtract the numerators. So for this first example, notice how both denominators are the quantity x minus three. So it will stay at the quantity x minus three and then we'll add the numerators. So we'll have the quantity four x minus one plus the quantity one minus three x. Notice how I included each numerator in parentheses as well as the denominator. I highly recommend this even though for addition it's not required, it is very helpful when subtracting rational expressions. So now we'll go ahead and clear the parentheses. To do this we can just drop them or think of distributing a positive one, which wouldn't change anything. So this will leave us with, again, a denominator of the quantity x minus three, and then we'll have four x minus one plus one minus three x. And now we'll combine like terms in the numerator. Notice here we have negative one plus one, that's gonna be zero, and then four x minus three x is equal to one x, or just x. Now we need to be careful here, we cannot simplify these x's because we cannot simplify across addition or subtraction. So this would be our sum. If we wanted to, we could drop the parentheses in the denominator since we only have one factor of x minus three. So it could be written like this or we can write it without the parentheses in the denominator. Either form would be acceptable. Let's take a look at our second example. Again, notice how we have a common denominator of the quantity x minus seven. So the denominator is gonna stay the quantity x minus seven. And then we'll subtract the numerators. So we'll have the quantity x squared plus seven x minus the quantity 10 x plus 28. Then again, with subtracting, it is important that we have these parentheses here to make sure we're subtracting this entire quantity. So now we'll clear the parentheses in the numerator. We'll distribute one here, and because of the minus, we'll distribute negative one here. So our denominator is the quantity x minus seven, and the numerator here will have x squared plus seven x. But because we're distributing a negative one, we're gonna have minus 10 x minus 28. Again, notice when subtracting, the signs of these two terms changed. And now we'll combine the like terms in the numerator. Seven x minus 10 x would be negative three x. So we'll have x squared minus three x minus 28 all over the quantity x minus seven. And we do wanna to try to simplify this. So to simplify it, we have to have it in factored form. So now we'll factor the numerator if it does factor, it'll factor into two binomial factors. The first terms come from the factors of x squared, which are x and x. And now we want the factors of negative 28 that add to negative three. Well, that would be negative seven and positive four. So we'd have x minus seven here and x plus four here. And now that it's in factor form, we should notice we have a common factor between the numerator and denominator of x minus seven. X minus seven over x minus seven simplifies to one. So this would simplify to the quantity x plus four. And again, because we have one factor here, we could leave off the parentheses. Again, either form would be acceptable. Okay, next we'll take a look at adding or subtracting rational expressions with unlike or different denominators.